We're here today. It's uh, it's not July 4th or anything, but we're with Claude Giannette. Hi, Claude. Nice to Hi, meet you. Hi, Andy. You run, you're, you're got your shirt on here advertising Giannette's Home Improvement. Yes. Is this your own home? Yes, it is. And you've improved it by putting a flag on it. Now, tell us a little bit about, uh, you're obviously had some roofing experience, and these are Ico shingles that you've fashioned into a flag. Start yes. at the beginning. How'd you get into roofing? Oh, I was 15 years old. Um, did some uh, labor work uh, for somebody I uh, used to work out at the gym at. He thought I was a great worker, and uh, ever since then, I just kept on going back and, you know, school, working part-time for him. Then when I was 20, I, I started my own business. Good for you. So 32 years in business doing a lot of roofing and other stuff. At some point, it came to you this idea, I'm going to put a flag, but this isn't your first one, right? No, it's not. What, what did you, have you done one before? Where was that? Uh, back in 2001, uh, during 9-11, uh, it inspired me to uh, do a flag on my garage that following spring. Ever since then, you know, it was awesome. I had a lot of nice uh, remarks about it. And so, fortunately, I had a move and I wanted to do another flag. Good for you. There's a bit of figuring out and, and extra work because this isn't paint. These are the actual colors of the shingles. That's right. The good news is it's going to stay that color for long, long time. It should, yep. Now, how did you figure out all the, the courses and, and map it all out? You've got to measure the length, the width, divide it all so it all equals out. You know, definitely a lot of math work. Now, last I checked, Ico doesn't make a color shingle that has blue, that has white stars in it. So, how did you get those white stars in all of the blue? I grabbed uh, three, uh, three tab white shingles. I did a template um, and I just cut them all out. By hand? By hand. Wow. Yeah, about 12 hours of work just to cut the stars out. Amazing. Yeah. Now, have you thought of doing other flags? What about, can you do a Canadian flag, do you think? <laughs> I'm sure I could do anything, you know, you it's know, just all mad about the map. Yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of flags in the world yeah. that uh, are pretty easy, like uh, Poland, it's red and white. So, <laughs> too bad you're not Polish, so you could just do that, the red and white, you'd be done. But, uh, well, that's amazing. You've done this independently. You didn't get this idea from anyone else. No. Nope. That's amazing. Have you done anything else that's sort of off the wall? No, I have not. Um, but I, I would like to do other flags for other people yeah. if they would like it done. Yeah. Now we come to the fun part of the interview. Okay. Your, your name's Gionet. Yes. Your French heritage. Say something in French. <laughs> <laughs> oui. <laughs> <laughs> yes.